G'day, this is Captain Uber, and this is a Modern Warfare minigun. This weapon is a direct port of Call of Duty Modern Warfare, that's the 2019 version's minigun, which you'll get from the Juggernaut killstreak, or if you kill a Juggernaut, you can actually pick up the minigun off the corpse and just start shooting people with it. In terms of its real-life counterpart, this thing is most likely an M13-4 Dylan minigun. You can tell by the six barrels and the caliber of round that it fires, because of in real life, the M13-4 fires the 7.62 rounds, which the 308 rounds are a close enough approximation to make it pretty much right, and it's using a readily available ammo source, so you don't have to worry about crafting a lot of ammo for this thing, which is nice. And, you know, firing 308s at perhaps three to 600 rounds per minute would incur a little bit of recoil, but the weapon's weight here is, um... Well, it'd make the recoil even more so, because normally this thing weighs upwards of 80 pounds, but they've somehow managed to get that weighing just 18, so maybe there's some carbon fiber magic happening in here, but uh, looks like we won't need the Juggernaut to uh, carry around this thing. Still probably going to do a buff out, though. And I suppose we'll just get into the attachments, because there's not much else I can talk about with this weapon. Actually, did you know that the M13-4 was made around the 1960s, so they've got a crazy amount of mileage, and uh, I think the only thing I can think about that uses them in-game, of uh, back in the Battlefield games, the rib boats had them mounted on in Battlefield 4 instead of the 50 cals they had in Battlefield 3, and I think the SCAD helicopters by default had two times uh, 762 miniguns on the side, which, you know, seems pretty heavy, don't you think, but... I guess the choppers are pretty strong in their ability to carry stuff, but they used to shred infantry, so I guess we're going to get a little bit like that effect right now. And we're, we're starting off with a legendary effect. As funny as this would be, look how much the damage goes up when you put explosive on this. It's almost doubling the damage, and that's because uh, explosive is weird on heavy guns because you sort of double dip. That's why it can get so much damage out of a missile launcher by specking both into Demo Expert and also um, heavy weapons, or heavy gunner, sorry. And the receivers here are the only thing you can upgrade. Now, the mod has been updated previously. Uh, back before this previous update, or this uh, current update, the range on this was locked at 11, which means you'd basically have to use it in shotgun range. Um, he's gone ahead and patched that after I bitched and moaned about it on his Nexus page, but I installed the new plugin, and the range didn't actually change at all. It's still 11. So what I did is I went back into the creation kit, found the O mod for the combat rifle, found how it changes the range, copy-pasted that into all of the receivers, and lo and behold, we've actually got range on this thing right now. 203 is pretty good, probably a little bit too much, but I think the spread on this thing will make us go into closer ranges anyway. And you can change this laser size, so you can have a 1 megawatt laser, 5 megawatt laser, or attack laser. This reduces ADS time by 20%. Not interested in that. I'm interested in improved accuracy by 25%. I don't see why you'd go anywhere else with that. So, whilst I'm here at receiver rank 5, if I chuck on the explosive here, 267 damage. Okay, we're going to save that for later. We'll, we'll do it later. We'll keep that in the back of our minds, but right now we'll just shoot stuff with our current minigun here with zero legendary effects. Let's go. Oh wait, no, I'm going to show you how to get it first. Getting the Modern Warfare minigun is fairly easy. All you need to do is come down to the uh, Egret Tours Mariner, which is here down the lake. Uh, there's your map reference for Diamond City. And just find this little diner that has the gas station thing on top of it for some reason. And you'll find it right on the table. Ammo and batteries are not included, but that's where you'll get it. And that's the easiest place to find it. Okay, so it's worth mentioning right here that this thing has a never-ending magazine, which means there's sort of no reload animations, but everything else is animated quite well. When I tried to find out what the reload animation was, the game immediately crashed, so I'm going to try this again. There is a reload animation! Okay, so why on earth would you make it unlimited magazine? Probably because the one in COD's got an unlimited magazine, but that reload animation is cool. Why can we not see that all the time? Righto, so here we are outside of the immersive Gunners Plaza. We've already sort of seen this thing already in first person, so there are the other animations right there. If you're familiar with what this thing is like in COD, they're probably a familiar animation set. But a quick look at this thing in third person, it looks really, really small here. And uh, I like how the hand placement actually sort of matches where the grip is, although it looks like Lily's wrist is bent to 
unfortunate and possibly very uncomfortable positions, but it looks really small, probably because next to the vanilla minigun, there isn't a giant magazine thing on the bottom to, you know, give it a little bit of meat, but it looks sleeker, I suppose, which is funny because it's firing a much larger caliber, I, I think it is, but, you know, we're not playing as the juggernaut right now, so we've got to make do with buff out instead so we'll give ourselves a little bit of a buff because i think lily is getting a little bit tired lugging around a giant minigun let's get started I don't think I need words to describe how absolutely devastating that was. And granted, we did get knocked down all the way into Nerd Rage. There was like a billion gunners shooting at me. And not a lot of other weapons in this game would have let me walk away after something like that. Granted, the fight isn't over yet, but we'll keep on going anyway. And we're putting our perception to good use today. We're using our inbuilt wall hacks here to figure out exactly where the gunners are. And then we can get started on shooting stuff. Alright, let's go and play around a little bit in VATS because miniguns in VATS are fun in Fallout 76. I, no, they're not. That's a, that's a lie. They're fun in Fallout 4 because you get a 10 round burst on every VATS shot. Which means when these cheeky bastards are carrying... Well, we just got to level up, which was convenient, but... When these cheeky bastards decide to be carrying big MG42s, you've got something to deal with them. Almost. There we go. And that, <laughs> the, those three away are definitely going through that tiny, flimsy little tree. Oh, little poor little baby gunner. I'm gonna leave that little room to last here. Oh, is that an MG42? What a shame. Not anymore. Tell you what, though. Of all the weapons to get in the level list today, I think today is the, the day that these guys want to be packing the MGs, I'll tell you that much. But unfortunately for these guys, it's uh, not going their way. And you know what, just to add insult to injury on this last guy, I'm gonna crit that bastard. Take that. <laughs> Excellent, all right. So we've only got one room left. We don't have the door breach here. We could probably just, I could probably just stand there and uh, hold the trigger down. But obviously, there is a caveat to using this thing. Um, we're going to be eating through our 308s at a rate that is most unfavorable. Because think about what other weapons in this game utilize the 308s, at least in the vanilla game. You've got, nice job, by the way, Lily, good job. Um, you've got the hunting rifle, which uses it by default, the pipe bolt action rifle, which uses it by default, and then you've got the combat rifle, which has the 308 modification, and that's it, as far as I know. And those are obviously a much lower rate of fire than what we have here. And just to give you an idea of how many rounds we use, I started with, uh, I don't know how much, I'll just check before I started, but I'll let you know how many rounds I've used. So when the fight began, we had 12,321 rounds for the minigun, and that means we used about 1486, just under 1500. So what conclusions can we draw from that? Well, it costs 400,000 caps to fire this weapon for 12 seconds. Okay, no crazy legendary effects are on yet, but I do want to get started. That's a Nightkin Suicider. That would be an interesting enemy to fight. So there's a bunch of like raiders and stuff around. I'm, I don't really care about them. I just want to take Swan. So we're going to get a little bit of uh, concentrated fire happening here. And we're hitting him for 204. All those headshots there. That's 10 first. And we get a lot of rounds on this thing. Do you see that trick shot just then? No, listen Swan. You've got a bunch of pesky raiders, which are easy kills by the way. Yeah. I'm calling BS on that. Okay. Apparently, he's just he's decided that I'm the bigger threat, which, sure, he's completely right about that, but 
He's just gonna leave those pesky raiders to me after I finish you off. Uh, the Mysterious Stranger might actually draw some Rust Devil fire here. Sometimes if he lingers around long enough, so it'll actually go to attack him. And I'm pretty sure I've seen players get saved by the Mysterious uh, Stranger like that when encountering Super Mutant Suiciders. Also, there is an acknowledged bug. Sometimes when you uh, leave this weapon, or you spin it up and you stop spinning it up too early, it'll just continuously play the uh, noise over, like, the, the motor noise. But that's okay. We are dealing with these guys quite easily. Honestly, why would you continue to shoot at the woman who just took down that giant thing wielding a minigun with your tiny little pipe guns and flimsy robots? I just don't understand it. Also, this is a heavy weapon, so under normal circumstances, not compatible with classic holstered weapons, although you can change it so heavy weapons do show up, but they just don't look very good, so I don't do it. Enter the explosive Modern Warfare minigun. You are not going home in one piece, buddy. And look, there's a giant behemoth. Let's shoot him. And I'm going to target him in the head. And we're going to melt his face. Take this. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so good. Keep going. Add a crit into there. Why not? Ooh. Those crits. The big, big crits. Keep going. And not quite enough to finish him in one bat's round. But before that big old hammer or stick hits me like the fire hydrant was big enough on the behemoth thing already but he's just taken the mickey now but they need even bigger one there and there must have been oh any there must have been like a suicider in there because they all exploded all crazy like and i think the biggest threat to me would be those nightkin super mutants because that one snuck up to me and probably neutralized half of my health just by standing close to me I'm honestly strong enough that the only thing that can kill me is myself. These guys ain't got a prayer. No. They're going to just to pirouette. You, you can loot those guys, by the way, Mr. Scavenger. They're all yours. We've got bigger fish to fry. Bigger bears to fry. There's usually a bear around here. There might be a uh, classic Fallout 3 Yaogawai. They are as well. Look at him go. Majestic creature. Let's have a quick look at him before we get started. We're going to crit this guy. That's not a minigun round. That was a 45 round. Honestly, that's probably because we're using um, explosive rounds, which is a override projectile, and they just might be set to be using the uh, 45 rounds. Possibly because one of the guaranteed drops of explosive. Yeah, bugger off, Night Kid. I can still see ya. <laughs> that guy didn't make it very far. I think they were listening to me about deploying Nightkin, but uh, yeah, since Spray and Prey is a guaranteed legendary, maybe it makes sense for them to give you an explosive on there. I think I ragged all that Super Mutant a little bit. Oh my goodness, look at that poor little itty baby centaur. You're going to get critted in the legs, buddy. <laughs> and off into space you go. Honestly, you're hideous, so good riddance. Why don't we hit him on the way down? I can! <laughs> awesome. And from this range, we don't have to be accurate. We just need to get bullets down there. And eventually, he'll drop down. Super Mutant Warlords, not so tanky, it feels, when I've got a minigun that's explosive. This is, like, strong. Like, really strong compared to... That guy just fell apart. Um, yeah, like, compared to the vanilla minigun, this thing is crazy levels of strong when explosive, so that's good. Another centaur. We'll just, uh, push it into the ceiling, and maybe we can get some cheeky damage by pointing the minigun through there. Look, if you run into all those explosions, that's your own fault, buddy. Who knows how much damage we're getting on them? Probably... They're probably so close to death, it's not funny right now. They're probably seeing the Reaper right now. Ah, he was cloaked all along. A cunning plan that, you know, we're using explosive bullets, so I don't even have to put my shots out there accurate-like. So, there we have it. A little bit of a power trip here with a Call of Duty minigun. And, okay, so in terms of improvements I could conjure up for this thing, uh, maybe, like, applying range to this thing just by literally adding um, the combat rifle 
range attributes into the different attachment files or maybe making the range increase with every uh, receiver upgrade and maybe adding uh, just a barrel uh, component to it as well it's like an accelerated barrel you don't have to actually change the uh model of the barrel it doesn't look like the model on this thing actually changes at all um they've got the, the gun spinning though and for some reason all of the casings at least half of them the ones that are actually uh 3D, they're all untextured. I don't know exactly why. That's probably not this mod's fault, but yeah, you could add some extra attachment points for minigun uh, barrel improvements. Maybe, I don't know if you want to put a shredder on it. I feel like it goes against what it would do in Call of Duty, but some magazines here would be nice because honestly, the reload animation is good, and I don't know why, except for the fact that you maybe wanted to, to simulate the uh, version in COD as much as possible but the reload animation is good so why not use it that's what i'm thinking but i like it i'll be linking this in the description below hopefully there's a console port out there for all of you xbox players too thank you very much for watching guys